Divri Hayamim Rishon. 1 Chronicles 12. Now these are they that came to David to seek Lach. Rather, seek Lag. While he yet kept himself close because of Shaul, the son of Kish. And they were among the mighty men, helpers of the war. They were armed with bows and could use both the right hand and the left in hurling stones and shooting arrows out of a bow, even of Shaul's brethren of Binyamin. The chief was Achiz Ezer, then Yoash, the sons of Shema'ah, the Givati, and Yazev El, and Pelet, the sons of Azmaveth, and Baracha, and Yahu, the Anthothi, and Yishmai Yahu, the Givoni, a mighty man among the thirty, and over the thirty, and Yeremiyahu, and Yahaz El, and Yahu Hanan, and Yozavad, the Gederathi, Eluzai, and Yeremoth, and Be'aliah, and Sherem Yahu, and Shephet Yahu, the Kharupi, Elkanah, and Yishish Yahu, and Ezar El, and Yoezer, and Yashav Am, the Kori, rather Kochi, and Yoela, and Zevad Yahu, the sons of Yorcham of Gidor, and of the Gadim, there separated themselves unto David into the hold to the wilderness, men of might and men of war fit for the battle that could handle shield and buckler, whose faces were like the faces of lions and were as swift as the rose upon the mountains. Ezer the first, Ovidyahu the second, Eliav the third, Mishmana the fourth, Yermiyahu the fifth, Atai the sixth, Eliel the seventh, Yahuchanan the eighth, Elzavad the ninth, Yermiyahu the tenth, Machbanai the eleventh. These were of the sons of Gad, captains of the host. One of the least was over a hundred, and the greatest over a thousand. These are they that went over at the Yardan in the first month, when it had overflown all his banks, and they put to flight at all men, rather all them of the valleys, both toward the east and toward the west. And there came of the children of Binyamin and Yahuda to the hold unto David, and David went out to meet them, and answered and said unto them, If ye are come peaceably unto me to help me, my heart shall be knit unto you. But if ye are come to betray me to my enemies, seeing there is no wrong in my hands, the Elohim of our fathers look thereon and rebuke it, then the Ruach came upon Eth Amasai, who was chief of the captains, and he said, Yours are we, David, and on your side, son of Yishai, peace, peace be unto you, and peace to your helpers, for your Elohim helps you. Then David received them and made them captains of the band. And there fell some of Manasheh to David when he came with the Pelishtim against Shaul to battle. But they helped them not, for the lords of the Pelishtim, upon advisement, sent him away, saying, He will fall to his master Shaul, to the jeopardy of our heads. As he went to El Siklag, there fell to him of Mahanasheh, Adna and Yozavad, and Yadiael, and Maikiel, 
and Yozavad, and Elihu, and Silithai, captains of the thousands that were of Mahanasheh. And they helped David against the band of the rovers, for they were all mighty men of valor, and were captains in the host. For at that time, day by day, there came to David to help him, until it was a great host, like the hosts of Elohim. And these are the numbers of the bands that were ready armed to the war and came to David, to Hebron, to turn the kingdom of Shaul to him, according to the word of Yahuwah. The children of Yahudah that bore shield and spear were six thousand and eight hundred, ready armed to the war of the children of Shimon, mighty men of valor for the war, seven thousand and one hundred of the children of Levi, four thousand and six hundred, and Yahuyada was the leader of the Ahranim, and with him were three thousand and seven hundred. And Sedak, a young man mighty of valor, and of his father's house twenty and two captains, and of the children of Binyamin, the kindred of Shaul, three thousand. For hitherto the greatest part of them had guarded the ward of the house of Shaul, and of the children of Ephraim, twenty thousand and eight hundred, mighty men of valor, famous throughout the house of their fathers. And of the half-tribe of Mahanasheh, eighteen thousand, which were expressed by name, to come and make Eth David king. And of the children of Yishakar, which were men that had understanding of the times, to know what Yashar'el ought to do, the heads of them were two hundred, and all their brethren were at their commandment. Of Zebulun, such as went forth to battle, expert in war, with all instruments of war, fifty thousand, which could keep rank, they were not of double heart, and of Naphtali, a thousand captains, and with them, with shield and spear, thirty and seven thousand, and of the Danim, experts in war, twenty and eight thousand and six hundred, and of Asher, such as went forth to battle, expert in war, forty thousand, and on the other side of the Ardan, of the Reuvenim, and the Gadim, and of the half-tribe of Manasseh, with all manner of instruments of war for the battle, a hundred and twenty thousand. All these men of war that could keep rank came with a perfect heart to Hebron to make Eth David king over all Yashar'el, and all the rest also of Yashar'el were of one heart to make Eth David king. And there they were with David three days, eating and drinking, for their brethren had prepared for them. Moreover, they that were nigh them, even unto Yishakar, and Zevelin, and Naphtali, brought bread on asses, and on camels, and on mules, and on oxen, and meat, meal, cakes of figs, and bunches of raisins, and wine, and oil and oxen, and sheep abundantly, for there was joy in Yashara'el.